Hey everyone, how's it going? Um, just up here, done a little bit of work on a few bits and pieces, nothing much track would be related. Uh, so, I did mention, you know, what are we doing? Ah, oh, doing the pulley guard on this thing, that there's going to be some other projects coming to the channel. So I thought today I might do a little bit of a brief walk around with one of them. We'll go the long way, I'll tell you in a minute why. Now, this glorious hunk of iron that probably really should be going to be made into Kias, but yeah, I'm going to give it another another once around, just for shits and giggles. Um, yeah, it's a forts and power major with a Malcolm Moore crane fitted to it. So, I haven't checked any casting codes or nothing, but it is a power major. Um, it doesn't run. It did. You know, one of those ran when parked. Um, but, yeah. I bought this off a fella. He had it and it was going. I don't know why. He likes old stuff. So, yeah, he had it. Um, it was sitting in an industrial yard, I suppose you'd call it. And someone jumped the fence and decided they wanted the head off it. And the injection pump and the injectors and the manifolds. <coughs> hmm. So, excuse me. Um, so, yeah. Then it sat for a number of years and now I have it. This was another... Actually, this was a gum, gum tree? Facebook. Oh, one of the two. You know, shopping when you should really be saving your money, but meh. They're still making it. So, yeah, this would be a very, very, very handy machine around here to have. Um, it's going to take a bit of work to get it going again, because it's been sitting for heavens knows how long with no head on it. But I think I have enough bits I might be able to get it to go. Um, yeah. Old operator station. And you can see by the gauges, oh, and the the outline around the bonnet there where the badge was, it's definitely power major. It has, oh, you can't see it from there. Drum brakes. It has gauges on the tank, and it has the outline for the power major badge, so I'm saying it's a power major. I'll check all the casting codes and confirm that, but yeah. Oh, for you guys who like all the history, zoom in on that. Yep, Malcolm Moore Road Machinery Australia. It's a model HC3, whatever the hell that means. I have to do a bit of googling. Well, this this is the first time I actually looked at this tractor since buying it. I've had it, I've owned it for I don't know, three weeks, four weeks, just waiting for it to be delivered. Yeah, she's got a pretty rudimentary old shelter cabin i wouldn't call it a rollover structure because i don't think it'll last about 30 seconds on its lid um spool valves i also took but he gave me a set off a loader off a malcolm moore loader so hopefully they'll work um what else can i say about it it's yeah, she's a pretty rough old thing. Like she, she's no show pony. This is this is um, yeah, seen a lot of work in its day. Pan back, have a look. So she got a toolbox on there, complete with some a few gems in there from back in the day. I don't know why there's a bearing box in there, ACL bearings, but. I'm sure we'll find out in due time. Aero start. So the motor, before they robbed bits off it, was in brilliant condition. Hey, there we go. There's those bearings. There we go again. They look to be about the right size to be forwards and ones. Oh no. No, 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 no. Let's have a look here. I'll get that screen back up again so I can see what you're seeing. 
which is nothing. <laughs> I can sort of see it. E1A DDN, blah, blah, blah. I can just make out the Fordson logo. So they're some standard shells. So obviously someone turned some shells in this at some point. Maybe. I don't know. I'm sure we'll find all those lovely um, surprises out in due course. Now, if I'm panning down, there's a reason for that. That's our Malcolm Moore counterweight. That originally would have been across the back. They've added that toolbox. That's an addition. Um, oh, it's got odd wheels on it. Yeah, I only just noticed that. That's the proper wheel it's supposed to have. And on the other side, it's got an E27N wheel. Handy. Okay. Good, good, good. Um, nine double O's on the front. Look, the, look at that hub, like. I'm a big dude, I'm 6'2". There's my hand compared to that hub. That's a monster of a fucking thing. Excuse French. So, yeah. I'll try and make sure. Come back there to you. Rushing. So if you look, that's the original number plate. C.R. Johnson, Clary Johnson, was the owner back when this was new. He's no longer with us. Actually, I think he's, even his son, I think, is no longer with us. I'm not quite sure on that. He was recently, but I think he might have passed. Anyway, uh, you see a couple of bits they didn't take. Oh, let's get down in here. This gets a bit scary being under this boom, but there is a big bit of steel holding it up. So it's obviously had a silent drive coupling on the injection pump. We've still got the lines for the governor. That's nice. Like literally, I've been here for, I don't know, 20 minutes or so, looking at this thing before filming this. So you're seeing a lot of stuff as I'm seeing it. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what those liners are going to be like, but I'm trying to reach around. There's no lip. I wonder if I can get those slugs to move. We might be able to flex on her and get a get her back again. I'd like to not buy a rebuild kit for this thing. Because, well... The cost of the rebuild kit is literally going to be more than what this tractor owes me. I can even pay much for it. That shows you the age. If you're in Tasmania, 41868. All our phone numbers now have 62 in front of them. That shows you how many more. Which is a fairly early phone number, that one. So, has three positions for different weights. Don't know what they are, it doesn't say. Usually they have them marked on them, but in the 50s that probably didn't really matter. Oh, it's four higher. I've been wondering what that was. I was thinking, it doesn't say Fordson, it's F O R. No, it's four higher. Ah, hmm. handy. Most of it, better pan down so I don't. I've got something over there I don't want to show you yet. <laughs> that's why the weird camera angles I talked about it in that that video we're doing a bit of work and a bit of slashing and stuff so we'll show you that to you at some point I don't know when but yeah, keep it as a surprise so that's this thing it's big, it's heavy everything on it I'm assuming is flogged out and like case in point that hydraulic hose is ready to kill you. So, yeah, <laughs> it's going to be a lovely death trap. So, from my understanding, what is missing? Still got the air cleaner. Exhaust is gone. Manifolds are gone. Head's gone. Injection pump's gone. All the associated, you know, rock cover push rods 
injectors, all that sort of stuff, that's all gone. Uh, still has a starter, still has a generator. I was going to say alternator for a second, but no generator. It has power steering. I'm assuming that's the Ford. I don't know if that's the original Fordson style power steer or not. I know this Ram is not. This is different. Well, I think it is. I don't know. I've never had Ford sort of power steering. But this looks different to what I sort of have seen online. Um, the wiring harness is just a bird's nest. I don't know if I'd trust doing anything with that. So she might get the side cutters and go in the bin. It's interesting, it's got a... They must have... Uh, because it's still got the mechanical starter. <sighs> but it's got a different... Well, I suppose that's just what the solenoid they must have been using. I'll probably go back to an original one. Or, I don't know, to be honest, like... I'm thinking this is like going to be a zero dollar build. Like, I want to get this thing going for zero dollars. I don't want to spend money on it. Because it's not worth anything. But I can see me sinking a lot of money into it. Just one of those things. So you can see hydraulic pump. That's probably seasoned no good. Does have original grills. They are rough. And a very rough original badge. So, yeah, this is one of my latest acquisitions. There's been three over the last few weeks. This is the first one I'm going to show you. Only two are Fordson related. <laughs> but they're all old and antiquated and decrepit. So, you know, just usual me stuff. So, um... I do know I have a head. I don't know how good it is. I know it's got a lot of freeze damage, but it was off a running tractor. So maybe it'll be okay with a bit of stop leak and a bit of, bit of hopes and dreams. It's obviously not okay. This is obviously how you enter it, through, through these little steps. That guard. Bloody screen on the GoPro turns off all the time and bloody annoying. Um, yeah, she's she's seen really better days. Interesting. It's got rear suspension. It's solid front, but it oscillates just a little bit in the rear. So that would mean the actual frame has to flex in the guts of it. Hence why the bolts are all broken off and it's all been welded and you know that that thing I don't know about that it's only going to lift stuff around this paddock so really at the end I forget it going for not a lot of money even if it's not great and we just use it until it's been welded back together that many times that's no good anymore and just send it to the big recycling bin in the sky we'll be fine but for the amount of work it's going to do I don't think it's going to matter I think it'll outlast me because it's not like yeah I'm going to do a lot of work with it so yeah if you're interested in this thing follow along I don't know if I'm going to get to it really soon we've still got the power major not power major, super major, engine to finish. Oh, I just noticed that. Number one. Does that mean they had more than one? Hmm, okay. Anywho, um, yeah, so we'll get this thing up and running, because, well, I need it. Oh, like, I really need it. <laughs> I need some machine here that can pick stuff up. Like, three-point linkage is good, but... You know, there's only so much you can do with three point, like on a list of a couple hundred kilos. I need to put some tyres on it too. The 900, just regular old truck tyres. Nothing 
you know, fancy. Pretty sure I'll be able to find two of them for next to free. But there's no point, We've got to get going first. This is a bugger, I didn't realise it had odd wheels on it. Oh well, you get that. Anywho, you guys all have fun and I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, uh, bonus footage time. Oh. There's no lip in them, but uh, yeah, they're um, not great. can read that hopefully I'll have to have a look myself and see oh. yeah. Ooh. that's her interesting regulator on it that's a bit different a little different to the ones I've got so yeah I don't know anywho if you like all this sort of stuff like share subscribe you know all the all the good stuff and I'll catch you guys in the next one see ya